up next it's going to be a next very super interesting session which is coming up that is uh, he's the executive uh, president head marketing aditya villa group ultra tech cement he's been uh, somebody who over 25 years of work experience in marketing sales and business assignments he's had a rich and deep exposure across various industries including fmcg consumer finance and media well prior to joining uh, ultra tech cement he was associated with brands such as nestle colgate palmolive godrej surali general electric hd media and godrej consumer products ladies and gentlemen uh, help me in welcoming on stage none other than ajay dong the executive president head marketing aditya villa group ultra tech cement and he's going to be sharing a case study on brand secrets to great content marketing well with this it is now time to invite him on the stage ajay thank you for joining yeah. us and giving us your valuable time over to you uh, thanks thanks so much bhavna so i uh, i think if anybody wants to i think look at the ultra tech journey in terms of uh, content uh, marketing we we uh undertaken that journey less than let's say a couple of years ago and uh, i think we've made a very large dent uh in terms of how our category is managed and how our our brand is managed and how the path to purchase is it's not another tick mark into a large 360 circle uh so i would leave uh i think anybody who's keen on and especially anybody who's building their home uh to possibly go across to one of our uh, website or social pages and uh, and various other touch points where where i think the team's done a brilliant job in terms of doing content marketing i thought we'll just distill focus a little time on distilling some principles and directly come on to on to on to that uh, uh and share a little bit of that journey i think uh these things might not sound very uh i think esoteric yet i think uh some of the basics being done right is stuff that uh we we pride ourselves both on home building as well as uh, i think marketing and content creation uh so we spend uh i think close to 95% of the time if you got a chopper tree i think we spend 95% of the time sharpening the axe and possibly 5% of the time hacking hacking stuff and getting the big questions right in the category right we use digital uh fairly effectively uh but our digital is not for advertising right it's it's uh to uh, em- empathize with our customers it is to reinforce the empathetic expert positioning that we have and these three are three basic questions that i think we uh, we focused on who's our customer uh, what are we selling to that person and uh, what is he or she buying which are strange things to say uh, because the name of the company starts with ultratech cement we are uh, i think by far uh, the largest player and the third largest cement marketer uh, in the world Uh, uh in india we the next players next two players combined uh, uh are roughly about uh, uh 60% of of uh, altratex uh, reach and strength uh, in the market and we have gone strength to strength in this uh, category if i take the last 4 years uh we would possibly have grown at the envy of a lot of uh, uh fmcg or or fast moving uh, uh consumer goods uh, companies uh, our growth rate would be an envy of that and just going by the previous panel uh just uh, sharing it with amul that uh, we also do not exceed uh, more than 1% of the uh, atl money but that's not the the key the key of uh, things is the power of the ideas that we bring on to the table right first uh, and foremost i think what uh we are very passionate people marketers are very passionate and typically type a people and our focus on brands is very very strong right on our products that and the categories that we market is very strong uh our consumers uh, are 
very often not focused on that. And especially when we are looking at content uh, creation and content marketing, uh, uh, it's the consumer's life which matters more. And that's the, the, the overlap of the consumer's life and the product category is the intersection where great brands uh, uh, evolve. And it's the conflicts that we resolve, the jobs to be done that we sort out, that creates great brands, uh, uh, not uh, Tom Tomming our own stories or, or uh, celebrity influencers across, across the board, yeah. There's one of uh, uh, the, the dions of uh, advertising, and he talked very effectively and pithily about that, is that people are bothered about their lives, and uh, it's only when your product or your communication or your conversation intersects with that, uh, it, it makes it interesting, it makes it valuable, it makes it pertinent from, from their perspective, yeah. Uh, uh, the one piece, I'm a very big fan of uh, uh, one of the advertising uh, biggies, which is Bill Burnback. However, his point was that your product, your communication, your marketing cannot add to the proposition. And uh, while uh, that's that's one thing that I, I disagree of all things that they, uh, he talks about, I definitely believe and some of the work that we've done in Ultratech, uh, it's not just magnifying the proposition, it's become a part of the proposition. It's uh, it's added value to the consumers. If we very clearly and very early realize that we are cement while in mindshare perspective and Ultratech as a brand in mindshare perspectives looms very large. Uh, yet when somebody in India makes their own individual home, the cost that out of wallet cost that uh, gets out of the person is less than 15%. Yet the responsibility that we take on in terms of making sure that the home is, is built uh, strong, durable, and the best quality is much larger than the 15% that we charge. And therefore creating, and it's a irreversible process, right? Home building and usage of cement is a irreversible process, right? In that sense, we liken it to getting married or getting your heart operated, right? It's that, that critical. And therefore, uh, the content marketing that we've done adds to making sure that in that irreversible journey, we don't go, uh, or our consumers don't go already, uh, uh, irrespective of whether they're using cement or not, and thereby we create humongous value and extend our brand even further, right? Uh, great brands solve great conflicts. And whatever, uh, I, I'd use this word interchangeably, if great brands solve great conflicts, then great content should also sort stuff which is which is taking a really big bite at the consumer problem, the jobs to be done. And uh, from Ultratech point of view, uh, home for most people, uh, not just financially, financially everybody knows it, but emotionally also in terms of demonstrating their competence, it's one of the biggest project of, of uh, the home builder's life. And solving a conflict within that, it's, it's the great ask that brand Ultratech does in their consumer building journey. Yeah. Uh, so I've listed down, I think very, uh, it's a short session. So I've listed down very, very pithily a few things from a, from a guideline perspective, which we try and follow 90% uh, uh, of the time. First, uh, I think our give is that we want to broaden the vision uh, that you are looking at from a communication perspective. Your content is not just on the internet. Your content is also the cement bag that you are giving. Your content is the pack size that you're giving, the dosage that you're giving. Uh, and it's also beyond the category that you're looking. If the job to be done by the consumer is a large one and you play while a critical por portion, uh, the entire job to be done by the consumer is, is what should be bothering you or is where you want to help the consumer. Uh, content marketing is not just about informing. It's not just about communicating. 
uh, it's taking on a hairy problem and adding value to the consumer, right? Uh, uh, we've, as kids, we've heard this folk tale lots of times that a young boy got a vessel on which food never uh, got over, right? Uh, insight is one such vessel, right? It's a, it's a, it's a gift that keeps on giving and irrespective of the money, irrespective of the budget, uh, and insight, not just from a category perspective, the human insight that is where the category interacts with the, the lives of your customers, that's that's huge and that's the one that uh, is a gift that keeps on giving and effectively using that in the content creation is far more critical. Uh, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a celebrity. We don't have in our content, entertaining content. Yet, I think the insightfulness of it is the reason why just in the last two, two and a half uh, uh, years, our content has gone to over 400 million plus people. Okay. Okay. And it's the em empathy that we, we demonstrate with the consumer and the jobs that they have, uh, which, is, which is the key. Second, I think content creation, along with advertising, along with the stances that we champion, is something that gives people the reframing the category opportunity, right? We've reframed the category as usage of cement to uh, demonstrating their competence. It's the biggest project of their life. And that's how the content helps uh, magnify the value of the brand and magnify what you bring onto the table for the consumer. Uh, interestingly, we don't need Facebook and uh, YouTube to target. Digital advertisers promises a lot of it. Uh, our content is such, and it is so sharply focused in terms of its utility, uh, it self-selects people who are in the market, who are in the consideration, who are in the thinking, or who are thinking anything related to home. And therefore targeting is, is almost automatic for these 400 plus people. Uh, words matter, right? What you say, how you say, how pithily you say it. I think these are all, I think, hugely undervalued assets and skills that we've uh, honed, sharpened our pencil over a, uh, over a long period of time. Uh, it's, it's uh, going back to Bill Burnback. It's not uh, what we say, but what the reader gets out of it. That's crucial. And all the uh, panel talked about is language, the vernacular, where they're using it, using the medium. All those things, therefore, I think become crucial. And more crucial is learning the human insight in that communication skill that that is. Uh, crucial from, from our perspective. Uh, our content, we believe, if we remove the Ultratech logo, uh, our tone of voice, uh, our effective expertise uh, uh, is so strongly impressioned on the content that we put out that even if people remove the, con uh, the logo of uh, Ultratech off it, uh, a lot of home builders would be able to recognize that this is content which is strongly coming from a leader in the market. Uh, getting things simple is, is, is possibly the most complex task as I think it's uh, given to Mark Twain. He once mentioned that if I had more time, I'd possibly make it shorter. Uh, and that holds true for content and content strategy because you're trying to solve a problem for the consumer. And rather than uh, going on uh, with with the huge ego talking about your own self, I think the focus should be the consumer problem that's that's pertinent. And that clear thinking uh, should be made visible, not only through your communication, not only through your content strategy, but all the outreach that you, you are doing as a brand. And it's, it's the show that matters not so much how much you talk uh, uh, with, with respect to the consumer. Uh, we believe our, our coded formula is how, how much you multiply the utility that you have for your content, how much you can inspire your consumers, and how, much, how well you demonstrate empathy is what, what gives out the quality of content uh, to, to your consumer, right? 
Uh, the last piece that I'll possibly address is how do we get in this, uh, there's a lot of talk of cluttered market uh, and how do you break out from the attention uh, uh, deficit and so much clutter. Uh, our answer to that is fairly simple, is to stand out, uh, do stuff differently. And that's, that's what makes us uh, uh, very, very different uh, in, as far as the market is concerned. Uh, no, I think uh, we've had a wonderful journey uh, in terms of we've kind of chosen our paths and been uh, slightly different and uh, content marketing and cement being mentioned in the same, same breadth uh, is something possibly a couple of years back people wouldn't have thought. Uh, I think we're doing very well from that perspective and in one sense redefining the path to purchase within our category. And more importantly, we are helping uh, home builders build homes which are which are stronger, more durable, with less wastage of money, time, effort. Uh, and I think that's the biggest reward that we are getting. Right. Uh, so on that uh, note, Ajay, you know, your uh, presentation said it all and uh, definitely your experiential sharing, I'm sure will go miles uh, on everyone who's watching us live today, a lot of experiential sharing right there. Thank you so much, Ajay, on that. Great, great. Thanks so much. Thank you.